Hello my beautiful people, I hope this video is reaching you all in good spirits. In today's video, I am taking you along with me as I do a quick and simple evening wind down routine. This routine is what I kind of like to incorporate when I have leftovers or we've eaten out and all I have to do is just freshen up the kitchen. I will also be sharing with you my wind down nighttime relaxation routine. This routine comes into play when I just need to relax and chill out and I just want a spa day but of course I know at the moment I cannot get to the spa. So if you're interested in today's video I would love it if you would stick around and also hopefully by watching you can find some helpful tips to use in your nighttime wind down routine as well. Please do not forget to give this video a happy thumbs up, shoot me a comment and let me know what ways you like to relax and of course if you haven't already please consider subscribing. Maybe it was written in the stars, written in the stars. So as you've seen in the previous clip, I had went along and emptied out the dishwasher and put everything back in its place. And here I'm just cleaning out this water dispenser. I've been meaning to clean this for a while, but I always forget. So since the little red light was blinking, letting me know that the water needed to be switched out, I went along and just wiped this down as well. I really do enjoy having this water dispenser like I don't have to worry about all of those millions of water bottles that's being left around and this one is super easy you just load it from the bottom so you don't have to worry about picking up that heavy jug and putting it on top to get your water. Wait a second, I don't need you Then why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better Wait a second. So I showed you guys that I was using the perfect stainless from the Hope Company. I told you guys when I went to at home I had purchased the perfect glass, the perfect stainless, and then the perfect granite. I don't like the perfect stainless. I don't know if I just used too much of the product, but it just left like a white cast over all of the stainless steel and I felt like I was wiping forever to get it all up. So let me know if you guys use it and you love it and I just use too much of it and I should give it a try or is it just trash y'all? Let me know below in the comments or should I just stick to Weemans? I really do love the Weemans, I hope I'm saying that right, the Weemans stainless steel cleaner. See, this is just like driving me insane. I was like so done by this time. Like I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. And this was just, just not it for me, y'all. It was just too much.
Now I'm just washing out my water reservoir for my Keurig. I like to have fresh water in the morning, so I typically just do this at night so everything is nicely ready for me to get my coffee in the morning. I will light some candles throughout the house as I'm freshening up just to set the whole house for relaxation vibe. Making my way upstairs, I like to prep our bedrooms for us to go to bed. And that's just me closing the curtains, turning down the bed, and then removing the pillows. I will turn off the main light and I'll have Alexa turn on the table lamp. I also uh, will be putting in some essential oils in my oil diffuser. So I'm using my Vitruvi oil diffuser and I'm going to put some lavender essential oils in it just to kind of also set the mood for me to, you know, kind of get in that relaxation mode. I do like to start this like a few hours before I am getting myself actually in bed just to kind of set the mood again for that relaxation vibe.
Making sure that whatever chores are done also really helps me to have a better relaxed and chill night. Just knowing that everything is properly put away helps me to relax throughout the night a little better. So now on to creating a spa-like feel in my bathroom. I will clean and take away all extra items from my countertops and my shower. I will then replace them with a candle and some items that I will use to ensure that I have a relaxing spa-like experience at home. So since I don't have a bathtub in my master bathroom, I'll be using these shower steamers. They work really well in promoting an incredible relaxing atmosphere in your shower. Of course, if you do have a bathtub, then you can use the bath bombs. And also you can use a luxury bath caddy where you could put your tea or your wine or just a really good book and a candle to relax with. Also topping that off with a nice bath pillow if you do in fact have a bathtub. prepping my shower just to get that spa like feel in my bathroom. I feel like it's so important for me to set the mood. So I place this plant on the bench area in the shower along with a scrub brush, a washcloth, one of the shower steamers and another shower gel. I also incorporated some eucalyptus on the shower. After I did all of this, I went to go make sure that Callie was settled in in her room. I feel like it's also important to make sure the rest of the house is really calm and relaxed so that way you don't have to worry about any interruptions. Before I get in the shower, I will make me a nice hot cup of tea and some water so when I'm done with my shower, they are ready for me by my bedside. As this video comes to an end, I hope that you have found some helpful tips to create a relaxing wind down routine for yourself and your household. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. And guys, also leave me a comment down below on ways that you like to relax for yourself. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.